Hi brothers and sisters in Christ, I'm very excited to be bringing to you this video because a sister in Christ shared with me over a dozen rapture dreams and I'm going to be making videos about them. And this is one of those videos. But before I do, like, like always, I want to encourage you guys to go to the comment section of any of my videos. For example, in this video titled, Women Died and Went to Heaven, if you simply go down to the comment section, you'll see that I uploaded a long comment that has evidence for Christianity. So if you're not a Christian and or if you're a skeptic, please read the evidence I present and examine it. If you are a Christian, I also encourage you guys to read this evidence and learn it and please spread this. You can print it out and give it to people or you can post it on social media. Do with it as you please. Also in the description box of all my videos, I have a message about the end times that I also encourage you guys to read it. It's about the Antichrist, fulfilled Bible prophecy, things of that nature. And the rapture too, it has, it has the rapture in there too. So if you're interested, read that. I will now be going on to the sister's rapture dream. Now getting on to Pamela's first rapture dream. She wrote, I was walking up a country road with a group of people I didn't know. We were happy and talking as we walked. It was a beautiful sunny day and there were rolling hills as far as the eye could see. On our right was a high wooden fence. I could hear people walking the op opposite direction over there. Then the sky began changing and I knew Jesus was coming. So I yelled, Jesus is coming. And someone on the other side of the fence said, I don't believe that. I thought about why we would be on the left and the unbelievers on our right. It is because if Jesus was coming, he would be facing us and we would then be on his right, as scripture says. So wow, this was a very powerful dream. And I thank Sister Pamela for sharing this dream with me. And now I get to share it with you guys. I want to I want to say a few things about this dream. What she said, um, when she said, and someone on the other side of the fence said, I don't believe that. When she was warning people that Jesus is coming and people were saying, I don't believe that. Or people weren't paying attention to what she was saying because they pretty much didn't care. I had a similar experience because God also blessed me with like dreams and visions of the rapture too, right? And you can find those on my channel. I'll include a link to those in the description box of this video as well. And in my dream, in one of the dreams, I was also telling people that, look, it's the rapture, look, it's the rapture. But people weren't really listening to me. And a similar thing happened here with Pamela's dream. So that's confirmation that her dream is really from God. And... And she and I also found this very interesting that she talked about in her dream there was a there was a high wooden fence and on one side were the people pretty much that were going to be raptured and on the other side were the people that weren't going to be raptured. And remember the rapture is pre pre tribulation pre seven year tribulation I should say but not all Christians are going to be raptured because there are so many Christians that they're living in sin that they're not repenting so. Many Christians will be left behind along with the unbelievers to go through the tribulation. And this is a this is a call to you. This is a warning to you. If you know that you're going to be left behind during the tribulation. Or if you feel like you're going to get left behind. And I mean some people, I'm pretty sure some people will choose to be left behind. So they can bring in some harvest during the tribulation and bring people to Christ during the tribulation. But other Christians, they're going to be left behind because they they never repented their, or they, they didn't turn away from their sins. They didn't ask God for forgiveness. They were just living in the world, living in their sins. So those Christians also will be left behind. And this is a call to you. If you're one of those Christians, I encourage you to repent of your sins because I don't want you guys to go through the tribulation. And, and if I be raptured, all glory be to God. If I be left behind... During my time in the tribulation, I'll, I'll bring people to Christ or I'll try to bring people to Christ. I'll warn people what happens. So if you do get left behind, please do your best. Bring people to Christ and warn the people pretty much. And if you want to be raptured, if you, if you want to get right with God today, do that right now. Repent of your sins right now. Turn away from your sins right now. This was a warning to you and... I feel honored, I feel blessed to be sharing Pamela's dream with you. This was only one of the many dreams that she shared with me. And I'll be, I will be sharing more on my channel. More of her dreams that she shared with me. So look forward to those. Thank you for listening. All glory to God. God bless.